Killer whale. A sailor's worst nightmare. A full-grown orca rams a boat off the Spanish coast. The animal is strong enough to damage the sailing yacht, or, in the worst case, to capsize it. It's happened to Rafael Martinez, too. He's had 30 years experience sailing the seas with his wife, and the couple from Cadiz are not easily shaken. But their encounter with the orcas was terrifying. Suddenly, I felt a jolt. The boat spun around 180 degrees and was facing north. That was when my wife spotted the orcas. The first thing I did was radio the Coast Guard for help. Because when an animal that massive attacks your boat and you don't know how long it's going to go on, anything could happen. Fears are growing on Spain and Portugal's Atlantic coast. More than 300 incidents have been recorded in the last two years. Sailors say that the Spanish Coast Guard is having to launch rescue operations on a daily basis for people whose boats have been damaged by orcas. The crew of this boat were able to record the dramatic scenes. Orcas, also called killer whales, are predators that can weigh up to seven tons. These four orcas push the yacht back and forth like a toy. They seemed especially fixated on the rudder. Well, you'd never believe that, would you? No? You'd never believe that. Every time I go one side, it goes the bloody other. The marine mammals besiege the boat for about two hours. Scientists prefer to call the events encounters, but Rafael Martinez and most sailors are calling them attacks. At one point I felt panic. The orcas had been at it for 15 minutes, and suddenly I see a piece of the rudder floating behind us. Without a rudder, the boat is impossible to steer. The big question is why are the orcas doing this? Something's been done to them that's completely destabilized them. It was as if they'd gone completely crazy. The port of Conel de la Frontera. Locals say the competition for food is making the orcas aggressive. The marine predators and the fishers are both hunting for bluefin tuna. In the fight over the prey, Fishers have injured orcas with harpoons, according to animal rights activists. The fishers have a different theory. We think that a sailor accidentally injured an orca calf, and that's why the animals are now attacking the underside of the boats. That's never happened before. Whale researcher Ezekiel Andreu prefers to avoid the word attack he estimates there are only about 40 Iberian orcas left. Protecting this endangered species is top priority. It's very difficult to find the cause. The orcas aren't telling us. But what we can say with a high probability is that it's related to a variety of interactions with humans. We think it's a learned behavior over time, which is passed on to the rest of the group. Most of the sailors take little comfort in such explanations. They say scientists and authorities aren't doing enough to ensure the sailors' safety. Rafael Martinez says the animals should be monitored with GPS transmitters. If nothing is done, he fears one day an orca might be killed. If your boat and your life are in danger, then you defend yourself. I feel sorry for the orcas, but if it's a question of their life or my life, then I choose mine. But it should never come to that. We need studies and solutions to the problem. The couple plan to continue sailing. But one thing they want to avoid at all costs is another encounter with the Iberian orcas.